Welcome back. Here we are once more enjoying puzzle mode on Woogles.io. Um, so, yeah, here we're just looking at a typical game of OMG words where, like, you take turns placing the tiles and scoring points. And the challenge here is to find a high scoring play. That's all you got to do is just play a good move. So, like, here you could play OXO for 12. Except I'm playing with the North American lexicon, so that in some ways that makes that easier. In other ways, I don't really know which things are in which lexicon. But, you know. Um, the idea here, though, is there should be a an outstanding play. It'd be great to be able to put an X there or a V there or something like that, but I don't think that's it. So then we look for common prefixes and common suffixes, and we see ILY, sure. So I don't know if wax illy would be a word or not, but we don't have the letters for it anyway. I don't think we have anything ending in L I L Y that would hit this triple. Even if we did, it wouldn't score that well. This scores 14. 14 is not bad. <laughs> Wool, if linty were a word, that'd be fun. I don't know how easy these words are to find. I assume it varies wild widely, but you know. Oh, J-I-N-X could be a word. Um, but what would we put across here? Would V-O-X be playable? I don't know. Looks good. Should we try it? Hey, we got one. We could even share our victory. Not a bad idea, because it's probably going to be a long time before I get another one of these, but... Here we go. Um, hmm. But yeah, the way to sim it'd be nice if there were a way to simply check if some combination of letters spells a word or not, other than attempting to solve this. Particularly if there's something that's not even playable. And I'm curious about the not playable thing. Or if I know something's not a solution, but I'm curious what it would score, or whether it's even playable or not. That might be of other interest. But most players probably know all the words, so, like, you know, uh, is it even worth them developing something like that? Who knows? M, E, and then here's a nice spot. Um, unless there's a better spot, but I see we have, like, Viper here, but I don't think that plays easily anywhere. I mean, it'd be cool if I could play Viper here, but I don't think IDE, I think there's, like, the Ides of March, but I don't think IDE is a word. On the other hand, this clearly scores a ton, and I don't see other ways to score a ton. So, I might try it, even though I fully expect this is not playable. Oh! Oh, nice. So this does validate, hey, that you made an invalid word. That's cool. I don't know why the screen scrolls upon my clicking that, but maybe that's just some error with my mouse here. Um... Still, somewhere around here looks like a good place, but I can't score that much. Um, hmm. I could spell dove for not a lot. Um, hmm, I don't see anything cool here. Okay. 
Um, imagine a six that put a V on this spot. Wouldn't that be cool? That ain't gonna happen, but it'd be pretty nice. Or if so, there were some front hook to encores, you could just stick a letter here and build a word up. But again, I don't see anything like that. So yeah, I'm not enthused to continue trying stuff. I don't know what the spot is, and I also don't know have any idea what tiles to use. So that puts me at a slight disadvantage. Um, so, yeah, I need to make another attempt so I can get a hint, because I have no idea. Crepe for 16. Brilliant. All right. Oh, we can get very interesting hints here. Um, let's see. Yeah, give me an idea. Where does it go? Row seven. Okay. Interesting. Um. That I've not even considered. So. Hmm. Hmm. At least I knew which question to ask. So, PI something. The score is 32. Um, I don't know if LAV is short for lavatory or not. Um, well, let's try it. Hey, we got it. Nice. It's amazing how many things are in the lexicon. So I would like to place the queue for tons of points. Um, I don't think it's that simple though. So I keep thinking like quail or something like that, but I don't think I have anything quite long enough to hit this. Oh my goodness. Um, hmm. Hmm. So you could spell QI for 11, which isn't the answer. Um, you could spell quail over here for some points, but I guess equal scores the same number of points and there's one best play and it's significantly best so that's not it either then um i mean it's got to be something from here to the d unless there's somewhere else you could play seven tiles um this is not going to be easy. I mean, the other idea is like if you have Alec and then somehow you can extend that here, but that doesn't seem likely. I have no idea. I want to like, hmm, I want to hit, <laughs> but I'm too proud. So we'll keep thinking. Um, 
But what am I thinking about? Like, I just clearly have no idea which tiles to play or where to play them or what the score I'm aiming for is. So it's a bit rough. I'd like to play the cube. I guess that I know, but the rest I don't know. I guess my greatest concern is I might not even know this word. So how much do I want to invest in trying to guess it? Or wait, quail is not playable due to I are not being a word, but equal is playable. I don't know why I kept transposing quail with an A there, because that's not how you spell it. Alright, 36 is not enough. So... Now, when I dropped the tiles back down, it didn't respect my preference. Also, it scrolled the screen down. So we scrolled it back. But yeah, my preference is to show tiles with greatest score first. In case there's multiple high-scoring consonants and I can just pronounce the consonants and come up with a word. Um... Yeah, I have no idea. Equal looks very good to me. How about equal for 69? All right. Okay. So last puzzle I was trying to spell equality. I still don't have the letters for equality, so I'm missing the A. Oh, well, plus I can't use this U here. Um, we had an A, Q, A, T would not be bad. Um, but yeah, we'll just deal with what we got, right? Okay. I wonder... Uh, like, clearly I'm doing far, far better today than I did the last time I did when this was just in beta, this feature. I wonder if the site is somehow mercifully giving me easier puzzles. Or if this is just a function of using the NWL um, lexicon. But yeah, last time that we did NWL, we had some really hard puzzles. And this time, I, it seems like the problems are easier. Or I could just be getting very, very, very lucky. But, yeah. I assume a is probably a word. But, um, I only start there because, like, I can't put my J or my C here. I don't see any way to do that. Now, there might be some trick where I could use a C here and build something across, but I don't think so. Um, J over here? J-O something. Wait, J-O is a word, isn't it? But then we can't build across here because I think OU is only an international dictionary. I don't think it's in uh, the North American lexicon. So just playing J-O is not worth it. And I don't... Well, T-A-J, but TID? Yeah, I, maybe? I don't think so. Okay, TID is not... Okay, and the screen scrolled again. That's not my mouse. That's just how this works. But, um... Yeah, TID is not a word.
But yeah, I have a bias toward guessing things here because this is for fun. I don't really care how I score. I can't compete with folks anyway. Um, so, I don't know, Jot? Doesn't seem right, but... Uh, where does it go? This column. Column K. Well, probably above the U, somehow. Um, hmm. What in the world could this be? Because if we're playing on this column, it means we're not doing a parallel play. I probably don't know what this word is. Probably never heard it before. Um, I have no idea. How many tiles should I play? Five tiles from the rack. So we're looking for a six letter word with these tiles. Uh, I'm probably going to need another hint. Wait, O-U-T is a nice suffix. Um, maybe a nice prefix, too. Like, I don't know. That's a word, right? I have no idea. Score is 30. All right, so for made made up word, that score is thirty. Okay. Um, I'll have to introduce my own like user style to prevent this page from scrolling, or something to make this not scroll every time I hit the modal. Yeah, I have no idea. You'll have to show me what this is. A C A J O U. Challenge. No, okay. But um A C A J O U. The cashew tree. Oh yes, the cashew tree. But of course. <laughs> All right. Um Well, we tried. It helps to know the words, right? You gotta know your sixes. <laughs> um, so. Hmm. Well, I want to play the cue somewhere, but there's not... Since I don't have a U in hand, and I don't have an I, it's rather difficult to place the Q. Which should actually help me place it if there's only a few places it can go. But, um... Yeah, I don't... So, like, knee cop here would be nice, but... I only have the Q for that. I don't have the N and the B. Um, hmm.
What else could this be? Well, let's just assume the Q is a red herring, and we get to play something else. But how could we score well with other tiles? Like, uh, this looks unlikely. Maybe something here, but no, we don't. B-O-X would have to be followed by a vowel, but... B-O-X-E surely isn't a word. Um, if we build something across here... I don't see it. No, K does not fit here either. Um, let's just make a random guess, shall we? All right. Well, we played two invalid words in our first attempt. Um, keg. Is K on a word? I have no idea. K on is not a word. Where do we go? Down here. Alright. <clears throat> well. Okay. So, yeah. That's the sort of thing I was looking for. Be nice if I knew a 7 to hit the double word score, because that would be a standout best play, but this does burn the queue. Um, six tiles from the rack. Let's queue you something. So we've played three from the rack. We have three more to play. Is that like a word? It doesn't look like a word. <laughs> Quitters. All right. Um, it's not going to help me, but... Nope, that's not it. Nope. Yeah, I have no idea. Quester! Okay. ER is a common suffix. That's a good puzzle. I'll give that three stop. Oh, wait. I'm not voting on the puzzle. It's voting on me. Oh, well. Whatever. Uh, okay, we have no vowels. Maybe that'll help us. MW is... MEW is okay. Be cool if we could score a ton of points there, but unlikely. Um... Yeah, having no vowels in hand should make this decision easier. Be cool if we knew some word to hit this, but I don't. Um, yeah. <sighs> All right, well, let's start with this. 16. 16 ain't it. Let's sort the rack again. Um, could be something over here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I don't see anything here. I see, like, wept for nine. Let's try that. Alright, where do we play? Down this column. Alright, so... Yeah, this is for the casual player. It tells you where to place. And you get to figure out the rest, but this helps. The board is just enormous, honestly. Okay, warp looks like a really good guess to me. Um, how many should I play? Three tiles. It's not warp. And it uses three tiles. So surely, like, what? Well, okay. It's not warm. It's not warp. Okay, 28. So when I played warp, this scored 24. Warp. It's only 26. Wait a second. So this is the correct column. So... That scores 28, but it's not a word. Um, oh, vamp. Okay. Yeah, we got it in six attempts. Good enough. Okay. Well, this has an ed. Okay, grained is a word. I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't think there's a place to put it. So we need to find something else. This is. If I had to pick a random place on the board, this has a one point tile, and a can be found at the ends of words. Um. But yeah, I have to like shuffle this. This board, yeah, it's just overwhelming that there are lots of places to play. And that there's only one best play. And it's the only way you can solve the puzzle. Um... Dreaming, if we had an M, but the M is not available. ING is a nice suffix. Reading. Dreading. There we go. We got it. Um, OUS is a nice suffix, but I don't think the rest lends itself to a word very nicely. O-U-T could be a suffix, but there's no T anywhere. Um, solved is the first thing that comes... Oh, unsolved comes to mind. So if I could just, like, use this N and put unsolved here, that would be it. But I'm pretty sure U-A-W is not a word. Um... Salvoed would have an A instead of a U. I mean, I'm not going to spend all day on this. Yeah, UAW is not a word. We knew that, but, you know. What can we do? Uh, 
I have no idea. It's just, there are a lot of lanes you could play in, and each play would score a ton of points, so... So here we keep U.S., which is not great. Um, yeah, so ideally we would hit across the R, hitting both double word scores. But um, that looks hard. So I could score 20 and hold on to LS. That's not bad. All right. 44. So that's 22. Um, yeah, we'd get 44 if we played across here, hitting both double word scores. Um, as for how to do that, heck if I know. ED would be a nice suffix. <sighs> I'm just making up a word at this point. Um, yeah, I have no idea. What's the word? Louved. Louved? Okay. A strong, a strong, a sloping slat placed across an opening. Okay. I'll take your word for it. What else can I do? Core deem. That has a meaning? What is this core deem? Is this a real word? To redeem jointly? Oh, co redeem. Okay. What's this core deem? <laughs> yeah. I like the way I parsed that. Um, uh, we almost have the word without, but not really. Um, man, if I saw that, there's a good chance if somebody played that against me, I would challenge it. And then we'd have to look it up and it would say co-redeem. They're like, oh, okay, I get it. Um, I've done such pronunciation of words before, and that's the risk of, like, trying. Um, because if you just don't try to pronounce things, people can't point out your errors. Alright, so... Hmm... Wouldn't it be cool, like, if I could play W something across here? 
I'm making up a word again, but like I keep permuting through lots of ideas in my mind and nothing seems like a word. So we're just going to make random guesses as we do. Um. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm in the right spot. Um, W something. That's a word, right? 57. Big fat hairy ape with no temper. Alright. Um... 55. Wooth! Wohot. Alright. Can we just keep making random guesses until we get it? Uh... Yeah, I have no idea. What's the word? Wahoo! Alright, we knew this word. But I've never seen it on a board like this, but that's definitely a word we've heard before. Uh, to spare myself further embarrassment, perhaps uh, we'll wrap it up here. Hope we enjoyed this uh, little puzzle-solving session. Thanks again to woogles.io for making this site uh, free and open source. Or free software even so like beyond source just being available you can download it modify it execute it and redistribute it so you have all these rights that they'll give you under a certain license that means if you're so motivated and you want to make a different kind of puzzle mode or make it better or whatever um yeah the source is there there are ways to do this or if you want to just make your own thing that's modeled after what's here, you can look at the source and see how it's written, and then write it in whatever framework or language of your choice is. See, so, yeah, there's a lot of options. But um, So I think this is probably geared a little bit above my strength. There's still some things that could be done to make this accessible to beginner players, uh, but it's still very good. This is far, far better than uh, what I've seen elsewhere, although what I've seen elsewhere is also good. It's just this is a really hard problem, and what can be done to solve it? I don't know. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time.